Thank you for the invitation and thank you everybody who made it possible for us to have such a wonderful time and uh, also all the contributors, I learned so much and there are so many questions in my mind and I would like to apologize for not bringing new research to you here. I am basically recycling the article I wrote for the 150th anniversary of of the foundation of Robert College, and I was asked very specifically to write on the architecture. So in a rather uncharacteristic way, I'm going to focus only on architecture today and not deal with other issues. I do know quite a bit about the missionary aspects of the project, the student structure and the curriculum, so if you'd like to ask questions about those later on, we can come to that. Now, I also would like to correct one little thing, which I thought we did, I should have still here, that question mark at the end of, in the center of the world, uh, the title of my talk, there is no question mark there. <laughs> uh, the words uh, do come from the uh, school song, I went to that, to the girls' school, so uh, the words are pretty obnoxiously megalomania. It says, yeah, the school is there, and you're going to see lots of uh, photographs of it. Um, the song, the words of the song, I won't sing it, but I'll um, convey the words, goes like this. In the center of the world, all the lands around thee, Orient and Occident, with their best, have crowned thee. There's no question mark. It is the best, it's in the center, and whoever matters has graduated from that school or taught there. Anyway, that is of course questionable. I also think of all the politicians and we have several prime ministers, even the first and only woman prime minister went to that school, but she's nobody to flaunt around, so <laughs> I will not do that. Okay, and so I'm going to present a very architectural um, survey to you but only of the very first years of the two campuses. Located on the hills of the Bosphorus, with spectacular views and beautiful gardens, the campuses of Robert College on the left, I hope you can see them, and of the American College for Girls um, on the right, flaunt the ivy-covered neoclassical buildings of predominant college architecture in the U.S. Their formal architectural vocabulary, interior special organization, construction details and components, fixtures, decorative elements, and furniture, all in accord with American architectural tradition, link the two campuses together. Nevertheless, they belong to different schools of design compared to the casual and, I should say, informal charm of Robert College's physical fabric. The ACG campus architecture was conceived at one stroke by one architectural firm with an integral site plan and a stylistic unit. The development of Robert College happened without a master plan. Uh, buildings were designed and constructed in an incremental, almost organic manner by different designers and by no means they were all architects and it was developed in response to the needs and priorities of the time, a little bit of a squatter settlement uh, uh, development that we uh, pursue here. Uh, there was a notion of a courtyard as a central uh, feature, but this really never turned into a regular courtyard. It never became a geometrically coherent space. The buildings surrounded it did not adhere to a homogeneous architectural vocabulary, and the, and the landscape design was informal. Um, a few words on the acquisition of the site in Bebek. Uh, it was not very smooth. None of these colleges seemed to easily um, acquire their land. In this case, the neighborhood residents uh, put on a little bit of uh, resistance. Um, they said there was a, 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 a cemetery, a Muslim cemetery there. 
uh, and there was a fountain that they were using for drinking water. Um, but um, Cyrus Hammond uh, inspected the site and said the fountain was outside the campus and the cemetery was on the lower ground. They were not going to build on it anyway, and they transformed it into something else. Never mind, but he um, circumvented the, um, the, the, the resistance from the community. So Hamlin himself designed the first no, first building known under his name as Hamlin Hall, and he supervised the completion uh, of uh, supervised the construction. Then they added a study hall behind it, this bizarre uh, building. Um, Hamlin joked of this as adding a magnificent, a, 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 another layer of magnificence to the architecture of the college. Now, Hamlin was educated at the Bowdoin College and Bangor Theological Seminary. He had no background in architecture or engineering, but as a student, he had developed some technical skills. In Istanbul, he functioned as an amateur engineer and architect. According to George Washburn, the second president of Robert College, Hamlin was determined to put up the college building himself without the aid or interference of any architect or builder, with the self-confidence that he could erect a better building more economically than any profession. He must have relied on his familiarity with the architecture of New England colleges, mainly his own alma mater. In fact, early correspondence on the foundation of a college in Istanbul emphasized the need for a good Christian institution for general education, an institution having the character of a New England college. He was keen on establishing a leading American school in the Ottoman capital, especially in the light of the growing French influence in education, symbolized in the Imperial High School of Galatasaray. Troubled by how the French took advantage of the visit of Sultan Abdulaziz to Paris in 1867, and how they, quote, extracted a promise from the Sultan that he would found the Grand Prix, unquote, where the courses would be taught in French by teachers appointed by Napoleon III. He set forth to counterbalance it with Robert Collins. So it's not only a missionary goal that we have here. We've got this competition with, um, with the French Empire, which is a rather daring and curious enterprise by an American missionary to compete with the French state as people. Um, in fact, the location and the architecture of the Imperial High School made the competition difficult. The Lycée of Galatasaray was opened in 1868, Washburn Road, on a site unsurpassed in beauty by any other in Para. Everything was done to make it attractive in every way, and provision was made for 600 students. Robert College had to match the architecture of the Ottoman French project and insert its own visibility into Istanbul's urban image. To realize <coughs> his ambitious venture, Hamlin secured an imperial permit to transport materials from abroad so that it could import all the iron, nearly 200 tons, to be used in the beam, the cement and bricks from Marseille, the planks from Romania, with nails, locks, glass, and whatever else was required from various ports without any delay and without one cent for duty. The president added that the solidity of Hamlin Hall was assured by the use of the same kind of stone as in Mehmet II's 15th century fortifications uh, in Rumelisar, which you see right here with the campus behind. The proximity of the campus to the historic fortifications provoked political associations. During the ceremonies for the laying of the cornerstone on July 4, 1869, one of the orators, the Greek orators, compared Hamlin Hall with the fortress intended 
for the taking of Constantinople and the destruction of the Byzantine Empire, and continues. Hamlin Hall stands on higher ground than those towers. It dominates them, its forces are spiritual and eternal, it shall see them pass away. Of course. In the, uh, the early 1890s, we witnessed a second wave of buildings, among them um, Albert um, Long Hall, I'm not going to go into the details, uh, Theodosius Hall and uh, uh, Washburn Hall. Um, the resulting ensemble um, uh, as viewed in the rudimentary perspective of H.C. Woods, who was an engineer who taught at Robert College, is composed of buildings of different scales, loosely organized around the courtyard of sorts. Their architectural express expressions vary, but they share a fair number of neoclassical elements to convey an overall appearance of um, integrity, they were also built of the same materials obtained from the quarries on the campus. This was indeed um, an era of missionary schools which had spread through the Ottoman Empire. Uh, and I'm sure we knew um, AUB here among them. Um, there is a map, I wish I, I had wrote it with me, I didn't. There's a map in the archives of the, of the college um, with Robert College at the center with all these arrows going all over. It's a missionary publication. All the missionary schools were centered on um, Robert College, uh, or at least that's what they thought. Uh, architecturally, I, uh, I understand that these uh, other missionary colleges uh, uh, followed in the footsteps of Robert College um, displaying similar trends in solid and large uh, buildings in uh, gardens. In addition to AUB, I can show two more, um, the Central College in Antep and the Euphrates College in um, um, Harper. American College for Women in Ireland Church surpasses the architecture of Robert College and other missionary colleges in its monumentality, coherence, and harmony. Under the diligent efforts of its first president, uh, Mary Patrick Mill, a site was purchased in 1905, um, and the commission was given to the prominent Boston firm of Shipley, Rutten, and Coolidge. Uh, the firm would do the work pro bono, thanks to Rutan, who was on ACG's board of trustees. And Mary Mills was very good at getting things done for her for free. Um, in 1886, uh, a few words on the firm. In 1886, Stanley, Rutan, and Coolidge had inherited the practice, the, the practice of uh, Henry Hobson Richardson, uh, the legendary architect credited for bringing the neo romanesque to the United States. They had an impressive record, including such hallmarks as the um, Chicago Public Library on top, Boston South Station um, at the bottom, and they were well known for their experiments on campus architecture, uh, having designed individual buildings such as Langdon Hall at Harvard and John Parker Brown Library at Brown University. Um, they had also designed the entire campus plan for Stanford, for Stanford campus in 1888, and in this plan they collaborated with landscape planner uh, Frederick Law Olmsted, whose uh, one innovative ideas, of course, are um, reflected in many, many, many um, parks and um, um, urban designs in um, the U.S., but most famously in Central Park. For Stanford University, Shetley, Rutan, and Coolidge adhered to Olmsted's master plan of 1887, which had proposed a system of quadrangles. As the architectural language, um, they had opted here for a synthesis between a neo-Romanesque and um, the local port of California missionary building. By the time the firm took on the design of the Arnavutka campus, 
their practice has become stylistically elastic and oscillated uh, from medieval to Greek, Roman, and Renaissance dated everything, as long as the, they satisfied the, uh, the client. Now, Mary Patrick Mills, I hope you can read these images, but there's nothing I can do about it. But Mary, Mary uh, Mills Patrick and her donors were demanding clients. They came with ideas of their own. Um, Dr. Patrick had initially approached Mr. Rupan with uh, very concrete ideas about overall design, architectural style, and the construction process, which had to be taken into account seriously because she knew that the funds were not enough. She, for that reason, she said, we have to have a grand project. A master plan is very important. When we raise enough money, we'll complete it, but we know where we have to be going. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get a chaotic campus, and she didn't want that. And I think she was reactive to what had happened in, um, uh, in Robert Collins. So pursuing such negotiations, the architectural firm um, started with a master plan. Uh, to make maximum use of spectacular, of spectacular views, they proposed a linear arrangement of buildings connected to each other by passageways and creating a new form, uh, a bazaar um, design um, organized around axiality and symmetry. The central building uh, had a repeated the U shape and the L-shaped pavilions at the end uh, terminated the building that's where the dorms were to be, and there's some architectural um, refinements in there, the central and the uh, end buildings have um, arched windows, and the in-between buildings are more, are starker than the um, others. Now, the monumental, um, okay, the complex was placed on a platform connected to the local terrace level of gardens by means of several sets of stairways with classical balustrades um, and everything uh, and, and the central axis was at, had at its vista gold hall uh, with its ionic columns um, at the center. So in a very flamboyant gesture, the use of the site and the overall um, massing um, was uh, likened to Versailles. The architectural style was a matter of deliberation, again, between the president, the board, and the architect, who finally agreed that it had to be a homogeneous campus. The architect claimed that the best style that would respond to, quote, the location, i.e. in Turkey. The desire to obtain the best equipment for the money obtainable, i.e. not adopting a very expensive type, and the fact that this is another, this is an American institution, and hence its style should be Greek. <laughs> um, the axial spine was counterbalanced by the rest of the landscape design in a deliberate contrast that addressed the complicated topography. Roads and pathways of different width took into consideration the circulation patterns of vehicles and pedestrians. They led to attractive stopping points with a variety of views while uh, preserving the old trees on the site and giving the residential buildings an idyllic uh, setting, these residential buildings were for the faculty. Uh, in the light of this architectural piece, earlier collaborations with Olmsted, it makes sense to associate the rational, respectful, and subtle design of the Arnovskjaer Garden with the great tradition of the late uh, 19th, early 20th century landscape architecture in the United States that also valorize the natural features specific to a particular site and combine them with picturesque and axial composition. Now, in the world of construction, the ideal, the ideal is often compromised by reality, and finances play the largest role, something that Ms. Patrick Mitten 
so he was married to me, Patrick knew very well. ACG's buildings had to yield to pragmatism as well as the original plan to construct in stone was reversed by resorting to concrete, which is a much cheaper alternative. Unlike uh, the campus in uh, unlike the campus in Bedek, the stone found on the Arnautka campus was not suitable for the desired finishing look. Uh, delays in construction were inevitable, some due to major major historic events. For example, the Dardanelles was closed for um, a month in 1911, so the materials uh, couldn't come and cement was going to come or by boat, which had to wait in the Sea of Marmara. So um, the construction story of the campus is full of uh, these episodes. Um, so the all, 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 not all the buildings could be complemented at once, uh, and decisions had to be made to prioritize them, with the understanding that the grand plan would be achieved over time. Uh, on the World War, on the eve of World War One, on June third, nineteen fourteen, when the campus was inaugurated with a dedication ceremony in the beautiful auditorium of Goose Hall, uh, out of the seven buildings, only um, four were constructed. Now, this Goose Hall is a very sore um, place. It's a very sore place in my part because it was demolished in 1970 to make room for a multi-purpose um, gym pool, auditorium office space. How did they do that? The story goes that the workers, it's not a story, people who witnessed it, the workers went there with their, you know, multos and trying to, and they stopped. They said, do you really want to demolish this, this room? And well, it went. Uh, only we have a couple of good photographs. So what you see are the buildings that were um, completed. Um, but what is really interesting is the, this little building. It's in a more hidden setting on a lower part of the campus, and this was the lifeblood of the uh, complex. This was the powerhouse. Uh, it was connected to the main building, so well, let me show you its location here. This is the power house. It was connected to the main building by a pipe tunnel, and it provided the entire complex with a steam heating by state-of-the-art uh, equipment. But what is even more interesting is that the high-pressure steam would be used, okay, it would be used in the kitchen for cooking purposes, but it would be used in the science lab. So teaching science to girls was very much integrated into the architecture of the school. Um, reviewing the state of construction, the superintendent stated with confidence in 1912 that the college is to have before long a group of buildings beautiful in design and especially adequate to its needs. The fact that this is, uh, this last without considering the fact that thus far in Turkey, there are no buildings which approach these new uh, buildings in the matter of equipment, unquote. This claim may or may not be valid. I haven't done enough research in other schools to see if they also had power houses. Uh, but certainly, the buildings of the ACG were now among the most prestigious of the capital institutional landscape. As shown by uh, Van Fortna, going back to the mid 19th century and escalated during the reign of Abdelhamid II, the Ottoman state had invested in schools throughout the empire in a systemic and uh, centralized manner. The architecture of schools of all levels was a serious undertaking and displayed a variety of expressions, often shaped by regional traditions. I touched on this in my Empire Architecture and the City book, showing how uh, there was a proto-regionalist approach to the expression of, um, um, of local architecture in these institutional buildings, so I'm not looking to this. Nevertheless, in the major schools in Istanbul and elsewhere, 
uh, preferred expression was a version of neoclassicism, recalling the military architecture of the period and having this early um, benchmark in the Darifilum, which is right here, the university. Um, the building was begun in 1846, as well as the Imperial High School, which we have already seen. Now, uh, the Darifilum between Hagia Sophia and the Mosque of Ahmed III was designed by Gaspari Potati in a neo Greek style with a long um, ionic colonnade dominating the vast facade that overlooked the Sea of Marmara. Um, this is the Imperial Medical School built at the turn of the century in Haidarkusha, this is on the Asian side, and it was designed according to, it was designed by Alexander Valuri and Raimondo Daronka. It's, it's an idiosyncratic design uh, which combines features of classicism with our nouveau and random Islamic reference. Um, now, the novelty, can you see this? Well, whatever. The novelty of the APG campus stemmed from the fact that its um, uh, majestic buildings would shelter an institution dedicated to women's education. Its presence ignited critical questions regarding Ottoman policies on the topic, as voiced by uh, the anonymous author of an article published in the popular Ottoman journal upon a visit to the construction site in 1913. Admiring the size, the slot, and the perfection of the building, he reflected on the negligence of the instruction and training of young Ottoman ladies, essential for a civilized country and indispensable for the progress of the nation. Ideals, he said, were put forward during the early days of the Second Constitutional Rule, but forgotten since. A major disappointment was the failure of the initiative to start an imperial school for girls, a leading institution of higher education. To this end, a palace on the hills of Kandili in a large garden with beautiful views and very fine air was donated and the officials embarked on a restoration project which would include, aside from the main building, cave, cat, kiosk, and campus, in short. However, the project was confronted with economic problems, forcing the government to look for alternative um, funding sources. They tried the lottery, but they didn't make any money. So. Now, according to the author of the article in Sarvajit Union, a boat trip down the Bosphorus opened up the wounds from all the dreams, hopes, and well-intentioned undertakings awakened by the constitutional period. The abandoned building intended for the Kandili Imperial School made the traveler reflect darkly on the fragility of the Ottoman commitment to educate girls, a social and vital matter, so important for the nation. His distress would increase as he turned his uh, head toward the spectacular construction on the hills of Arnavutka. You can really see these two hills facing each other. He admired with envy the American commitment to the education of young women from various nations and religions. Sarvati Tunun acknowledged the work, dedication, intelligence, and acknowledge and, and knowledge of Mrs. Patrick up there on the corner, adding that the construction uh, of the Arnavutka campus was a result of her persistence and strong will and the model for us. Um, the ACG campus, I'm concluding, was the last in the chain of chain of educational buildings that added a new element to the urban image of Istanbul on the eve of World War I and contributed to its definition as a modern capital. The university in the historic peninsula, Galatasaray at the heart of Terra, the Imperial Medical School on the Asian shore, and Robert College and ACG farther to the north on the hills of Bosphorus affected their immediate surroundings through their architectural grandeur but they also created something bigger. Each charged with its own agendas and ideological implications, 
they nevertheless coalesce into a network that engraves modern education onto the multi layered urban image of Istanbul. Thank you. If I